So we've got the high lift jack that actually goes inside behind the seats. You can kind of see it. I'll take it out and then I'll put it back in again. You can see the little little tiny red spot back there where it actually is. Um, and then you've got different um, different spare wheels and tires. You also got a snorkel which we will install. Um, and then we're also going to install fuel and tools. And then once those are done, I want to see what the different tire options look like. So we've got the default wheels and tires. Then we've got the trenchers, which the trenchers are just kind of ridiculous. They're for mud. Um, swampers on uh, CPEX and swampers on alloys, basically. I'm going to go with um, this particular setup because it looks really good to me. And, um, and we're going to go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and drive this thing around. Or set off, I should say. But before I set off completely, I'll show you guys what we have just in case this thing gets stuck. And that's screaming blue. Now, this thing is, well, it's ridiculous. It's a monster of a vehicle. And there's not much that can stand in its way. I mean, th there's, there's actually very little that can stand in the way of that thing. And actually, just for a little flex test, I'm going to see what happens if I try to flex up on one of its tires. Not much. Not much. It kind of like, it almost, the vehicle just kind of gets a little bound up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down, um, not the trails on the right side, but I'm going to go down, oh god, don't, don't go that way, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, we're going to go down some of the trails over here by the river. And what I'm thinking with this approach is that, well, first off, I'm not sure actually how it does fording water. So we're going to just throw it at, at the river. And so far, it's dead. Um, <laughs> so we can't take that route. That route is for literally ridiculous vehicles only. So if we take this route, though, we should be all right. We'll take this route and we'll go... Um, if we can, please, come on. You get off the rocks. There we go. Literally just kind of bouncing up and down, just sitting right on the rocks. So far, this is not looking good. Oh, I see why it wouldn't go. I see exactly why it wouldn't go. A little bit more. There we go. So it does mud pretty well. Um, it has really good mud traction, I will give it that. But now it's time for trails, and I need to see... That's really what I was curious about with this thing, is does it actually perform well on trails? Um, I know it's kind of lacking in the flex department, so how much is that going to hurt it? And kind of like just a just kind of an overall approach, because this is kind of an all-rounder vehicle, or at least that's what it's supposed to be is a good all-rounder, and to be a good all-rounder, you have to literally be good at a bunch of different things. And just to prevent the transmission from doing anything weird, I'm going to stick it in low three and leave it there now that we're on the trail and we're past the river. So far, the biggest thing I can see being a problem is the fact that it's fairly low to the ground and has a long front overhang compared to a lot of the rigs we test, like Jeeps and land cruisers and that kind of stuff. So this is very much still a more of a overlanding spec vehicle than a uh, than a trail, you know, than like a trail rig spec vehicle. Overlanding and trail and trail riding are kind of different things in a way. I mean like they're not necessarily like overlanders do ride trails. I mean that's part of what they do, but the way they design their vehicles or they not necessarily design but the way they set them up is very different. So I got to winch out of this trench because it was kind of dumb the fact that I got in there in the first place. And stop. And back up a qu real quick. And, alright, now. Generally, I've found that the best way to get up that hill is to slam it into high and stay in power. And that holds true. <laughs> that absolutely holds true. The only concern for me is that edge that we, well, we were, I mean, we had a wheel over the edge, but you know what? It, it pulled through just fine, so I'm just going to let that be and be okay with it and continue on with my, uh, continue on driving the trail. It, it had good grip for a bit, and then it, it just completely lost all of it and slid back down. 
There it is. Just gotta find a line that it can grip up. If it starts to slide back down though, that's where it like, it sucks because you lose progress and you lose, you kind of lose all that progress you kind of, you know, were working to gain getting up the hill. And then it's like, oh, by the way, you're sliding back down. Well, crap. There we go. So far, I'm finding it's literally all about line with this with this thing. It's it's all about finding a line that's grippy and a line that actually works to pull you up the trail. You can't just kind of throw it at the landscape like a lot of other vehicles, but it does make you think. It makes you think about your line. And this line, I don't know what I'm thinking, but it's it's not it's not working. It's not a good line. All right, here. One more little approach. I've got an idea. I just need to see if it'll actually work. Because momentum and gearing may have to be uh, used as our close friends for this hill. Alright, come on. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oop. Oh, so close. Or it is so close, it's just spinning now. Well, it's grabbing though, it's grabbing for traction. We're literally at the top of the hill. It's just got that little last bit to do. Put it in low one and it crawls right out. You know, I actually like this a lot more than I thought I would. This is actually a really well-balanced, well-set-up off-roader. I mean, it's not crazy lifted and it's not a buggy which speaking of buggies i don't think we're gonna need screaming blue to rescue this thing i mean that's why screaming blue was here was to rescue this if need be look at that view though that's awesome well that's just a little bit of a hill no biggie <laughs> no big deal scraped our bumper off well we would have and we would have just scraped our rocker panel off but it's okay yeah don't worry about it Come on. Dude, the grip in high is insane. Like, the grip in high to get you up these hills is really, really good. Once it gets on the rocks, it has really good grip here, too. It's just the the ride height and the lack of uh, ground clearance compared to a lot of other trail rigs kind of puts it at a disadvantage. But other than that, though, it's actually a really nicely balanced, well-set-up uh, well SUV. It's like a well-set-up trail rig. It's got all the grip in the world. It's all the grip you'd ever need. And despite not really liking the body style, I like this thing. Like, overall, I do like this thing. Get down just a little bit. And it really, honestly, does quite well. It, On a map like this especially, it seems pretty well at home. Like, it seems pretty well at home... And, like, it actually wants to be here. Like, you're not frustrated with little issues. Like, I mean, even if you slide off into a ditch, you can technically just drive back up onto the road. Not a lot of vehicles can do that. Not, uh, most vehicles would sit there and spin in the ditch. Does the trail go over that way? Looks like it does. Goes down into the ditch and then comes back out on the other side. Is that a trail? I think it is. Yes, I think it is. I don't know where it goes, and it's a little overgrown, but who cares? I'm curious. I want to check it out. Especially since this is that new version of off this this is the new version of Off-Road Challenge, so we can pretty much like try whatever routes we want. Dude, that is a steep, muddy hill, and it's just digging in no problem. This is about on the same grip level as my XJ, and that's saying something, because my Jeep has a lot of grip. Like, the in-game version of my Jeep has a hell of a lot of grip, and, and honestly, that was, like, that was monstrous. That was an awesome climb. Awesome, awesome climb. Which way does this go again? God, this trail is so overgrown, it's hard to even see which way it freaking goes. Find my way around. Uh, aha! I don't even remember this part of the map. This is like, 
a bunch of muddy hills and like um, and just kind of little mini mud pits. It's really cool. We're gonna get stuck under that tree. I was like, best to back up while we, you know, while we have the option to back up. Instead of burying the front of the vehicle. I wonder if we can climb that rock. What do you guys think? I stuck it in high, which... Wasn't really, yeah, wasn't really the best option for the mud. I mean... I feel like we'd be able to climb up that rock if we were able to get a good run at it in high, but it doesn't look like we've been able to. I mean, it doesn't look like any of the surrounding areas would allow us to get enough speed to get up there. Through, ooh, that was iffy. Although, when you have it in low range, mud is no problem absolutely whatsoever. Like, mud, you are... I, you're pretty much able to go wherever you want. I'll just say right now, you're pretty much able to go wherever you want in this thing. Um, and you know what? After we climb this hill, I've got a little bit of a surprise for you guys. Because I can't, I can't bear to leave uh, Screaming Blue alone for this entire video. Because he'll just get, like, it'll just get sad and just sit there. And I'm like, I can't let that happen. That thing's got to come out at least a little bit. Come on. The right line. It's all about finding the right line. Guarantee you we can get up this hill. Guaranteed. No issues whatsoever. There we go. Just, again, you had to search around for a line that would work, get some grip on the rock, and it pulls itself literally right up the hill. That is awesome. So now... Get a little bit of time in this thing, see how it does. Well, it's gonna do in, you know, it's it's gonna be insane. It's just like, how insane is it actually going to be? Probably pretty insane. The suspension is already like, you know, giving me tons of clearance all over this. It's just bouncing. And that V8 soundtrack is ridiculous. Just rock bounce the river. No, uh, no problem at all. That's just, you know, that's how we do it around here. Don't you know? Bro? It may look like it's struggling for grip, but it's, it's, it's not struggling. It's scrambling. There, there, there's a big difference there. What? Did I bottom it out? I literally bottomed it out. I'm not even gonna care about my line now in this thing. I'm just gonna go wherever I feel like. All right, let's give this hill a shot. I'm gonna leave it in high. Try to just kind of, kind of scoot across the mud. That didn't really work, but we're still, yeah, no way. We're gonna have to do this in low. Ooh, we're gonna have to do this in low, guys. I don't know what the grip grip levels of this thing are with mud. Tell you what. Tell you what. Whoa, that was weird. It slid backwards the second I put it in, in low. Yeah, it's not going to make it up that hill. That sucks. It's got great grip on rocks, but as far as, you know, actual mud goes, it's iffy. But I'll tell you what. Since this video was about the Nissan, we'll do uh, another video like focused on boggers and, and and buggies like later on. But if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later and I hope you guys enjoyed.